we're going to go through some of the best places to mount a GoPro camera to capture biking. The first is the standard handlebar mount. This is probably the first mount you think about when setting up a GoPro camera on your bike. I'm going to be using the GoPro Pro handlebar mount. So this is an all aluminum GoPro handlebar mount, but any handlebar mount works. We start off by popping the two plastic tabs on the correct size rubber piece into the mount itself. And then we just go ahead and pop it on to the handlebars. Then it's just a matter of using the included Allen key to tighten it up. Well, a shot you can get with a handlebar mount just facing forwards isn't really that special. Because the handlebar mount is right in front of you while biking, it's very easy to move around and manipulate. You can get many different angles without even unmounting the camera, just reorienting where it's pointing. You can get one of yourself, you can get one facing in just one hand, you can even get one facing back, all of which are neat angles to use in a final edit. The second is the under the seat mount. This one's a little bit less standard and you don't see people using it as much, but if you're riding with a group of riders or with someone behind you, it's a really, really cool way to capture the action. To mount our camera underneath the seat, we're gonna be using the Pro Bike Seat Mount. This is an all aluminum, genuine GoPro mount. We take our rail mount and we slide it up and under the back seat of the bike and then just grab the included Allen key and tighten it down. The behind the seat mount really isn't that interesting on its own, but if you were riding with a group of riders, it would be really, really cool to see what was going on back there. If your seat post is as high as mine, you're really not gonna get much of the back tire in the shot unless you drastically angle the camera downwards. This shot could be pretty cool on a mountain bike where, where you've got full suspension and that back tire is doing a lot of moving up and down as it absorbs uh, the terrain under you and if you were with the seat as low as they go on most mountain bikes then you would be able to capture all of that action. Next we're going to put the camera on the chainstay at the back of the bike facing forwards. This will allow us to capture a shot of our leg cranking the pedals. To mount the camera on the seat stay we're going to be using what's called a mule mount. So this is a clever little mount designed to allow you to mount two cameras on a single GoPro mount, but it's got these ingenious red rubber feet on the back of it and little notches to allow you to mount it with zip ties. Basically, we just take this mount, put it in the position where we want it, being sure that our camera isn't going to interfere with the spokes on the bike, grab our zip tie, wrap it around the seat stay, tighten it down, and then add a second zip tie down here at the bottom. Of all the different mount locations we look at in this video, the seat stay mount has to be one of my favorites. It allows you to see very clearly the terrain that's going past you, but it keeps a large amount of the bike in the shot, really allowing the viewer to feel connected with the action. Moving from the back to the front, we can put the camera on the front fork facing up, giving us a little bit of an interesting angle and something that is often cool to use for a very short period of time in an edit. Well, we could use the mule mount to, uh, to mount on the front fork of our camera, I decided to show you guys a different mount. This is the zipper. It's a, uh, a zip tie mount for your GoPro camera and it is really versatile. However, you don't need to spend a bunch of money on this one. If you want, there's a DIY one. We put our GoPro in the zip tie mount onto the fork. This mount works best if your fork is a, is a little wide or a little aerodynamic and it doesn't work so good if it's round. If it's round, something like the mule mount would work a lot better for you. While the front fork mount captures an interesting angle of the rider, it does little to capture scenery going by. It could be an interesting angle to splice into an edit, but it definitely would be something you'd stay on for very long. It would be interesting to spin this mount 90 degrees and get a shot going forward. You would get to see part of the front tire and then a lot of scenery going by quite quickly. We can then take the camera off of the bike and start mounting it on our person. The first and the best way of doing this is with the chest mount. This is especially true if you're mountain biking as it allows you to just see the terrain you're going over, what the bike's going over, and it allows you to keep the handlebars and your hands in the shot, which makes the shot feel a little bit more stable. You don't need a genuine GoPro chest mount. Any of the chest mounts you can get for cheap are just fine, but what you do need to do 
is instead of mounting the camera upright so it can be tilted down, which is great for skiing, you need to take the camera and flip it over and put it on upside down so that when you bend over on the handlebars, that camera is level and your shot you're getting is facing forwards. The chest mount is an awesome mount for biking. It is a really, really great angle. And if you're mountain biking and the bike's going through a lot of vibrations, your chest mount is gonna provide a much more stable shot. Just make sure you get the angle right, too high up or too low, and you're gonna get a lot of ground or a lot of sky and not feel connected with the shot. With the chest mount, it's really important to get the app out and make sure your framing's bang on before you set off. The other body mounted shot, which we obviously have to cover, is the helmet mount. This is a really classic shot for biking, but what's important is to make sure that there's some perspective in the shot. So either try and get the brim or the visor of your, uh, of your mountain bike helmet in there, or mounting the camera on the side of the bike helmet allow you to pick up a little bit of something in the shot from the helmet. So part of the helmet in the shot, and that helps stabilize your shot. Without that, a head mounted or a helmet mounted shot biking will make the camera feel like it's floating. You'll notice in all the other cool mounting locations we've looked at for biking, we've had part of the bike in the shot. That part of the bike, because it's connected to the camera, doesn't move. And then even if there's a vibration or the background or what we're going over, the scenery's going by very, very quickly. Because we have that stationary object in the shot, it tricks our minds into thinking the shot is very stable. This is something that you can't get when you helmet mount without some part of the helmet in the shot. So to make your helmet mounted shots look more professional, make sure that you've captured part of the helmet with the shot. Those were some of the best locations for mounting your GoPro camera when biking. If I missed any, let me know what they were down in the comments below. And if you wanna keep up to date with what I do day to day, follow me over on Instagram, Kyle Martin Tech over there. But most of all guys, until next time, thank you very, very much for watching.